Jody Peterson Lochner. What's your horse's name? PSR Counterfeit Curl. Um, what did you win? I won first place in grade four for Para and then third overall. Congratulations. Thank you. Tell us more about your horse. Uh, he's a Chilean stud. So I just picked him up from the trainer. Let's see, a couple weeks ago. And now he's gonna dance. Uh, so I've only rode him, this is probably the third time I've rode him. And I've never shown him before. Uh, he was shown in Arizona for reigning cow horse with the trainer. And so just getting to know him and gonna have him for breeding. Well, that's exciting. Um, what is your favorite thing about him? His calm mind and demeanor. So uh, can you talk to us a little bit about some of the challenges that go along with uh, para reigning and, and getting to where you are now in the uh, para reigning championship? Yes. Uh, physical challenges. So I was able to ride in 2016 here for show and a few years after and then I've had three years off so I'm physically just not able to able to ride. Uh, one of the challenges was like he picked up the wrong lead and my leg doesn't have enough strength to get him to change, change it back. Uh, so a lot of it's just body soreness and tiredness for how fast we get tired versus somebody else. And what does it mean to you today to be riding into the Jim Norick Arena back in the saddle after three years off and, and getting the success that you have? It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, amazing. I'm super excited. That's great. Um, so where do you want to show next? Plan to show next? I have no idea. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Can you walk us through your run? Yeah, starting in the middle, we had two circles to the right, one large, one small, and then four spins to the right. The spins were good, his right lead, he didn't pick it up, so our circles to the right were in the incorrect lead. The spin was great. He did two circles to the left. Those circles were great, he slowed down nice. His rundowns were nice, did really nice sliding. Hi, hi, I'm Frank Costantini. I'm here this afternoon with Amanda Lester and Chloe Lawrence. Amanda, you have some questions you'd like to ask Chloe and I as far as what we do with Markel? I sure do, Frank. So what all does Markel cover? We cover farms and ranches, uh, equine mortality, commercial liability, and also autos. And Frank, what's so important about Markel? Well, we provide service. You know, it's a 24-hour claim service uh, anytime, day or night. If you can't get a hold of a Markel representative on our toll-free number, you know, as I tell people, you know, Chloe keeps her phone by her bedside all the time, and, and you know, unless I'm on a plane, my phone is on. So we've got about 24-hour service, and, and I think that's very important because uh, horse people, as you know, have, have difficulty keeping a schedule. And what most people would consider the norm, horse people don't. It's just, it's just whatever the, the particular animal needs and would like to offer the, the fact that we're available whenever they need us, you know? Horses don't know if it's Christmas, Easter, or the 4th of July. You know, every day is the same. Well, Frank and Chloe, thank you guys so much for your time and thank you for your sponsorship of Virtual Horse Help and other reigning events and other shows and all that. You guys are a great part of this industry. Well, Amanda, we appreciate what you do and uh, uh, with Virtual Horse Help and also your contribution that you make and uh, the publicity you bring to companies like Markel and to people like Chloe and myself. Awesome, guys. Thank you, Chloe, for your time. Thank you, and knowledge is power. <laughs>